much. Check your Chiron. Officials are born from November 30th to December 17th. And thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. Like a person or reading information is in the description box down below. All the information you're looking for is in the description box. All right, Ophetius, you have the fox, clever, and the polar bear, the mystic. Okay, beautiful. Your spirit animals are telling you that any challenge that you go through is meant to make you stronger and for you to have a sense of faith, even when it seems all odds are against you. It's okay for you to take the time to rest and dream and renew your strength and also embrace your psychic abilities because you carry the shaman within. I myself am a shaman. And a lot of people ask, okay, what does the shaman do? The shaman gives the why. The why. When people come to me, they have all types of questions. Why did this happen to me? Why did this person do this? Why have I not been able to find love? Why was I abused? Why was I abandoned? Why, 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 why didn't that work out? Why do I feel this way all the time? Why is it hard to love myself? Why, 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 why? Why didn't it work out? That's what the shaman gives you is the why, the answer to that. And that's only because in order to give any sound counsel without any, you know, bias, they had to experience it themselves, good and bad, right? Now, you know, philosophy not based off of just books and research, but also experience, not theory, but experience. When you actually go through something, you learn just how to empathize with another individual. And that's exactly what Ophetius is all about. You know, Chiron, um, women's intuition, which was ignored by the church, it's also um, going against patriarchy and saying everybody has a sense of intuition and that's something to value. As well as Chiron is about what well, we're really good at helping others heal, but when it comes to ourselves, we struggle with, right? In order for you to help others, you first have to learn how to help yourself. That's the first step, right? Now, this is also telling you that you're very swift, you're very smart, and that any problem you have, you will find solutions. Now, always listen to your instincts because resources surround you and you need to be open to romance whenever i see the fox i always think of naruto how it was almost like you know the nine tails was something people feared what he was capable of you know and he was considered the underdog but only because of the fact he saw himself that way he was like, I'm capable of doing so much more, but a lot of people knew that he had the potential to utilize that power to destroy a whole village, or he could utilize that power to save the village. It was up to him and the development of who he was. So a lot of people, instead of being kind to him, knowing that if you give kindness, this, this child will be nurtured and evolved in that sense of psychology that you are giving to it and nurturing it, right? So he can nurture himself with the same and be able to nurture others. They gave, uh, you know, judgmental um, energy. They basically ignored him or bullied him or made him feel like an outsider, like an outcast, right? The very thing that makes you an outcast is the very thing that makes you loved here at Psychic Sid. Psychic Sid is for all the people who are at the back of the room and feel that they don't belong anywhere, that nobody loves them, that they don't mean anything, that they're lost, or that no one cares about how they feel. This is a safe bubble that when you watch these readings, you are included in, okay? To feel safe enough to just feel good or bad there is no judgment here okay embrace your intuition the polar bear is very cold and every time i see the fox i love that it's like maybe you're meeting someone who feels similar to you they've always been the outcast right but they see your uniqueness and they love it they adore it right all right future for officials please Future for Ophetius. 
The future for Ophetius. 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 Oh, goodness. You flicked this at me. The Hierophant. <laughs> Taurus. Hidden energy is the Seven of Swords in reverse, Moon in Aquarius. Um, you're meeting someone at work or school. You're coming clean about this. And somebody embodies everything that you want in a partner. You're making a decision to manifest and communicate to this person. And... Okay, what you have is the Lovers, Gemini, Hermit, Virgo, Three of Cups, Cancer, and Mercury, Three of Wands, Sun and Aries, Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio, Hierophant, Taurus, Hidden Energy, Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius, Eight of Pentacles, Sun and Virgo, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ophetius. Okay. All right. So the hidden energy, a lot of you are getting the relationship of your dreams. You manifested this. I'm so proud of you. You're getting rid of a Gemini. A lot of you are getting rid of a Gemini. Okay. Or you're getting rid of a lover that you feel detached from. You feel like there's no more love or there's a lot of jealousy in it. And it's depressing. You feel like there is no solution to get through the woods because this isn't a problem. It's something I'm supposed to accept, forgive, and move forward from. Um, so that's like if you're in a relationship, you're getting rid of a lover. Um, if you're in a relationship, there are multiple lovers involved, and that's why it's not working. Um, because you want something else. You want something better. You want love, not lust. And... Someone's also going through a midlife crisis. Um, I'm seeing a, a friendship become more uh, romantic or more official, like getting rid of other people. Someone's also traveling overseas, okay? Like they're going to be traveling overseas, traveling to another state, another country. Um, there's a vocal exchange of emotions. Someone's starting a long, you got, you're starting a long distance travel relationship or romance. Is a vocal exchange of emotion from someone from a different place. This is being planned and then executed. Also, this is a heart chakra awakening. And you're meeting someone who's also in the same constitution, institution, foundation, church, or service as you. You could also be uh, meeting a, a priest, a bishop, a shaman. Um, by you coming to this reading, you are meeting a shaman. But... Um, you're also going to be connected to someone who believes in the same values as you do. This will lead to marriage. Each of you respect that the other person operates differently in love. This is why that this is why it works. If you're in a relationship, somebody's coming clean that they cheated, seven of swords, moon, Aquarius. They're coming clean that they cheated, they stole, they lied. They're coming clean that um, or they get caught. This is like when you get caught and you didn't mean to, right? You get caught. And there's another individual at school or at work. Okay. You can also meet someone in the next 11 days at school or at work. A lot of you, once this comes out that somebody's cheating or lying to you in a relationship, you begin to put work into something brand new in the next 11 days. It's like somebody ignited a spark. And this does lead to marriage. You're sort of like, thank God this happened. Because now I can manifest exactly what it is that I want. Magician, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. As above, so below. As it is, so it be as within, so without. You listen to your intuition and knew something wasn't right. Yeah. Someone's very far away from you. You ended something. Because there's a secret. Gemini and Mercury with the Ten of Swords, Cancer Pisces with the Moon. There's a secret love. If this is a relationship, you're like, ten strikes, you're out. You've hurt me too many times. 
It's publicly humiliating. It's a messy breakup. Everybody's talking about it. The sore. Somebody has stabbed you over and over and over again. And there's a secret love here now. Someone's a secret. Like you, you know, you secretly love them. It's a romance that's building behind closed doors. Someone's going to offer commitment. If this is a relationship, it's a scandal. This is a scandal. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah, someone's also very jealous because you have the star. Someone's really jealous. Yeah. Someone tried to so, someone tried to get away with cheating or lying or something like that. I see six of wands, Jupiter and Leo, nine of wands, moon and Sagittarius, ten of cups, Pisces and Mars. So a lot of you are dealing with someone well known or famous. If you're in a relationship, there's a lot of jealousy, body weight issues. Um, you could be dealing. This is an Aquarius, so. Um, some of you have, you know, Aquarius in your Chiron, or you have Ophetius in your Uranus. But there's a lot of jealousy, body weight issues, not getting what you want, but it's not what's best for you. If you have that position in your chart. But there's a victory here, Jupiter and Leo, Six of Wands. Why does this feel like it's at a distance? Because, you know, it's in the sky. It feels sort of at the distance, but this is like... A victory, you know, being seen by people. Um, someone works in the entertainment industry or people love to say they know you. You're dealing with somebody famous in the public eye. You're letting go and giving up on a relationship that is just not working. You guys are fighting. Uh, there's child abuse, child neglect. Just a lot of unhappiness. Like, this was like your worst nightmare. You have a lot of tens. It was like your worst nightmare. You're ending it and letting it go. You'll know this reading is for you because you're going to get a burn or a cut. It's like if you're trying to drink some hot cocoa and you burn yourself on your tongue. Or you're trying to curl your hair and you burn yourself. Or you get a sunburn. Or, you know what I mean? Or you're trying to get in the car and you burn yourself because it's so hot. Um, burn something on the, you know, you burn yourself on the stove. It's like you're going to burn yourself on something. Now, okay? Or you're going to cut yourself like a paper cut. Or you're trying to cut you know, some vegetables up or whatever you cut up and you accidentally cut yourself. Whatever it is. Or you may get cut or scratched, you know, by an animal or something. You're going to get cut. You'll know this reading is for you because of that. You're not happy. You may, this is like appearing to everybody in a relationship. Oh, we're, we're so happy, but you're not. You guys are both lying to yourselves or to other people. Behind closed doors, there's a lot of lying and cheating and stealing you don't want to go to couples counseling either, like at all. You don't want to go to couples counseling? Oh, wow, really? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at what you got. This is like childhood sweetheart. Beyonce? Who's dealing with Beyonce? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Ophetius. Jay-Z is an Ophetius. That's really funny. Um, Beyonce, she is a sun in Virgo. She's a moon in Scorpio, rising sun, and Venus in Libra. And the 12 signs, I'm sure if I did her chart, it would all switch around. But um, the Empress, you're dealing with somebody who has unconditional love, values themselves. This is a woman that um, her love extends a person's lifespan. Somebody dealing with Beyonce? See this is someone you knew from elementary school, middle school, high school, or college. You've known them for a very long time. Someone could be pregnant, or they're just very fertile. This is a very fertile individual, very healthy. They work from home. They own their own business. Empress is somebody who is abundant in all ways, shapes, and sizes. Financially, abundant. Spiritually, abundant. Mentally, abundant. Emotionally, abundant. You name it, she's abundant. Uh, and that takes what? Pain. To give birth, that's really painful. You know, she's just gone through a lot of pain. But this is someone who nurtures 
um, themselves and others, you know, with unconditional love. And it's the sun, Leo. You're reuniting with someone you knew from elementary school, middle school, high school, or college. This is a woman that does not get involved in, you know, um, third party situations, players, anything like that. This is a woman who loves herself and respects herself. And if you're single, it's saying this type of woman is coming into your life. Congratulations. She receives them. So you'd be giving, you would be giving energy and effort towards her. And she would reciprocate if she feels, you know, like this is mutual. You know, like what she gives, she'll receive. And the magician, this person, they, somebody manifested this. My ears are ringing. Someone manifested this. I see you. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of y'all. Like, we've had so many new subscribers come to Psychic I'm just so proud of you guys, like, really taking the initiative to manifest what you want. You're also getting rid of friends like gossip and stuff like that. You're just getting rid of it. Um, the sun. This is like love at first sight. Or falling in love with a childhood sweetheart. Wow. Or you do them in past lives. You ever meet someone and you're like, I feel like I've known you forever. It's this type of feeling. Or you really have known them forever. But you may have never, some of you are married, others of you. You've never been in a relationship with this person. You've always been friends. Six of Cups is very friend. You know, like, like maybe you've been romantic because it's still Scorpio. You may have had sex with each other before or been intimate, but never a real commitment. And that's happening. You have yes, 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 yes. Wow. It's also a drama-free connection. There is no drama. But it's counterparts. It's counterparts. Wow. Oh my gosh, really? That's insane. It's counterparts. The Emperor, Aries Scorpio. So you may own your own business. Uh, she works with beauty, fashion. Um, this person could even work with like, uh, the, like nature. Somebody really likes nature law someone could work in the legality or um someone's very honest this is a very honest energy some of you are historians or you work in libraries or the esoteric the occult the entertainment industry or you love your job i feel like you love your job or you live in a really hot climate a lot of you are reuniting with somebody though this is a reunion with someone that is like from a hot climate <laughs> that's funny but um this grew into such a beautiful flower that's beautiful. This person works with the mind, esoteric, occult, magic, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. Um, wow. Also works with like books, literature, athletes, children, anything with the mind. Um, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, death, taxidermy. Someone who's at the, the height like, they are in a high position of authority, both of you are. I feel like a lot of maturity had to come into play for this to happen. Wow. You know, I wrote down what I heard when I heard Ophetius earlier, and it said, the truth will set you free. I kid you not. You want to see? Because I like to be honest with you guys. I don't have a problem with that. I wrote this down earlier, though. See, let me show you. The truth will set you free for Ophetius because you're the last one. Cancer, the first thing I heard was love conquers all. I don't know. These are like things that I just heard today during meditation. Okay, cool. You could be hanging out with your children. Some of you are married. Others of you are deciding to go after what truly makes you happy, real love. Somebody's traveling overseas. In the next 11 days, there's like a spark ignited and like putting work into a relationship and a connection. You guys could be traveling together or someone's just traveling, like traveling to reunite with somebody or you're going to reunite with somebody and you don't even know that. Okay. Okay. Cool. It's going to be a victory though. 
and it leads to relationship. That's insane. This is a future reading. You can come back months from now and it can resonate. Wow. Okay, congratulations. What is Ophetius' joy? <laughs> the way I said it. What is Ophetius' joy? Faithful. Oh, I love that. Actually, like actual faithful relationship, commitment, and connection. That's what would make you happy is being faithful or having a faithful connection and partner. So if you're single, you've been doing the work on yourself, right? And now a counterpart, like the person you're meant to be with comes in. I'm so proud of you. I've been doing readings all day with clients and then uh, doing your guys' readings for the general collective. And when I tell you awareness changes everything, when you decide to allow yourself to bite the apple, right, esoteric and occult knowledge, you come into this reading, you're biting the apple, okay? <laughs> um, it allows you to transform, you know, kundalini energy. Ophetius, you're the snake bearer. The snake wasn't some evil thing in the Bible that was trying to tell them, you know, eat the apple and destroy the universe, no. Eat the apple and realize that you are God. Eat the apple and realize you're in the control of your own universe. Nothing happens to you, it happens for you. And how you react to it is up to you. This is gorgeous, oh my gosh. What is gonna happen to Ephesians that they should know? The number 50, all right. All right, all right. Some of you guys could be 50 or uh, you may own a spiritual business. If it's a spiritual business, it's very profitable. You have a lot of clients and it's run with morality. It's run, you know, ethically. I can hear my pit bull terrier babies outside. They are ready to come in. I'm about to go eat. I'm so excited. All right. <laughs> He's barking in his sleep. Luck in love is bad today, but in business, sure to pay. Appearance to you seem good and fortune more than kind, but you could win both wealth and fame if you were not so blind. You will receive unjust treatment from a near relative. You may get your wish later on. So there is a wish coming true, but it's later on. And your wish may be connected to another person who has the same wish but another person will not get their wish in the process of your wish coming true the emperor she gets what she wants and the emperor gets what they want but in that process with life comes death right so something else ends this could be a relationship ends a connection ends whatever you're giving up on this false appearance of everything is okay you're letting it go. Either because someone's been caught cheating, lying, stealing, whatever it is. Or they're coming clean and just saying that they're not happy in the situation and they're letting it go. Um, this has been your reading. Wow, there's an extremely solid offer coming towards you. And someone does not have third parties. or They're coming to you single and they're saying, I'm interested in you. My babies are barking in their sleep. I'm about to go eat uh, crab legs and drink some boba and upload your readings. This was so phenomenal. Thank you so much for watching the video and all the other videos. And um, this is ancient. Looking at the writings on the walls, it's very ancient. You may have known someone for a very long time. The reason you guys didn't come together was because there was a lot of lessons to learn and there was a journey that was necessary for you guys both to learn about what not to do in relationships in order for this relationship to actually come into fruition and work you know so you don't mess up with this person um yeah i like it do what makes you happy love there has been cheating because the three of cups is in reverse all right and you're also cutting out uh, friends that gossip about you and stuff like that, all right? If you'd like, uh, you may be in sales, communications. 
different things of that nature, okay? Or health or, you know, any of the things I actually listed, but somebody manifested this. Congratulations. This is um, a spiritual business. A lot of you guys, if you've been on mission and you've been expanding your spiritual business, you're getting more clients, you're definitely um, very popular and well known regarding your, your spiritual business. Many people come to you for consultation for work, different things like that. Um, if there is a child being born, it's a boy. <laughs> if there's a child being born, it's a boy. Sorry if I ruined the gender. All right. I'll say have an amazing day or night, whatever this is, wherever you are in the world, okay? Um, personal video information is in the description box down below. Next to the butterfly. I'll say this is an awakening of one's creativity, love, and kindness. Awesome.